Hello and welcome to this session everyone. My name is Yogesh Mehta. In this quick session, we are going to talk about upgrading the Jenkins. We all know Jenkins is very popular and widely used CI/CD tool by the enterprises. As a Jenkins admin, it's very critical to keep Jenkins up to date with the latest version for security purposes. Also to ensure environment is bug free and also new functionalities are always a plus. For production environment, it's always recommended to use LTS releases as they are stable in nature. In this quick session, I'm going to demonstrate two methods of upgrading the Jenkins. Up to you with which method you feel more comfortable, you can follow that method. So first method is using the latest Jenkins Torch WAR file. Second method is using package managers such as RPM, YUM, apt-get or the package as per your Linux distribution. Before we upgrade Jenkins, we have to do some pre-work, which is very important. So you can perform the following task. Jenkins update is not online activity that uh, you need to keep in mind and you need downtime. First, you need super user or equivalent access on that particular system where Jenkins is going to be upgraded. Second thing, back up the existing configuration in case you need to revert to old configuration. So that's uh, always good to keep a backup. Create a Jenkins support bundle in case post upgrade need performing any troubleshooting. Old support bundle can be used for comparison and quick checks on pre post functions. Support bundle is like uh, SOS report in Linux, uh, Explorer in Solaris, and uh, Snap in AIX. So it will collect the configuration of Jenkins. If the Jenkins host is a virtual server, I will prefer to take snapshot of that particular machine because restore will be very easy and straightforward if that's a virtual server. For example, on Amazon, you can take EBS volume snapshot. On VMware, you can take VM snapshot. Um, how you can check uh, what's existing version of Jenkins? You can uh, go to your Jenkins server on port 8080 slash about slash center it is going to tell you version of your jenkins so i have uh, steps documented here before you start upgrade you have to stop the jenkins server you can stop using etc and et jenkins based stop or you can use system ctl stop jenkins once that is done next thing uh, you have to get the stable version of jenkins as i mentioned always use stable version for your production environment and make sure you have done proper testing in your non prod server like everything is good you can do the installation or dependencies or any issue which you can perform testing in non prod they are already done before you're touching prod so you can get the stable version from this particular link https jenkins.io slash changelog dash stable so this will tell you what is the stable version so you can get that so i have listed two methods first is using wav file that's very easy just create a dummy directory where you are going to download the jenkins wav file just create a directory mkdir jenkins var cd into that directory copy your existing jenkins war file which is user lib jenkins jenkins war to your current directory basically this one jenkins dash war with the dot orig extension so in case you need to restore something you can uh, use this particular file then do wget and download the latest WAR file here you can put version from where you're going to get version from this particular change log like which is the stable version once that is done you can copy the latest or downloaded jenkins .war file and replace with the user lib jenkins jenkins .war. once that is done change the ownership to root root for that uh, new file and uh, mode need to be 644. Once that is done, just start your Jenkins. The second method is very easy. Your Jenkins is already stopped. Just do yum update Jenkins dash server. Once that is done, you have to do post upgrade task. So post upgrade task is to start the Jenkins server first and uh, you can monitor the log files to make sure there are no errors reported. So log files are var log Jenkins slash Jenkins dot log. You will be always able to uh, see that uh, you got new version activated or that's visible. So click on this particular link 
or that is going to be IP or name of your Jenkins server over port 8080 slash about slash press enter it is going to tell you uh, what is the new version also uh, keep in mind with the upgrade of Jenkins there might be plugin which need update because you got uh, older version of the plugin so plugins will not uh, automatically get updated so you, you may need to update the plugins also to update the plugin that's very easy log into Jenkins UI then manage Jenkins manage plugin download now and install after restart so it is going to install the plugins recommendation is if possible always do a clean system reboot to ensure everything is good for production validation test validate all configurations such as job plugins are intact and uh, kick off couple of test jobs to ensure everything goes well so guys this was theory so let me give you a quick demo how you can do this thing in your setup for this demo i'm going with method one method two is very easy you can do it at uh, your end uh, with couple of commands but i'm going with method one so my current jenkins version is 2.3 2.2 and uh, as I mentioned, IP address of Jenkins server, or you can put a DNS name, port 8080 slash about slash. So we are going to upgrade from 2.32.2. .2. Okay, so guys, so let me quickly put open 40 session where we can do upgrade. Okay, so another way you can check Jenkins version from here. It code 2.32. But uh, if you don't use uh, yum update method, it is still going to show 2.32. But we are going to update the WAV file as I mentioned in this particular theory session. So first thing I'm going to create a directory called uh, Jenkins WAV where I'm going to keep a copy of Jenkins 4. New plus old. So second thing I'm going to copy existing WAV file which is this one user lib jenkins jenkins var with name jenkins dot var dot reach so it is saying directory is not valid why okay i got it because here instead of minus it's junk character so it will copy the file so file is copied let's verify file is there yeah file is there so next thing we have to do we have to download the latest jenkins var file to check the latest lts change log jenkins .io slash change log dash stable so version 2.73.1 as well as 2.73.2 is stable it was released on uh, 11th october 2017 so this is stable version we are going to use 2.73.2 So upgrade is going to from uh, version 2.32.2 to 2.73.2 in this particular demo session. So let's do the upgrade. I'm going to download the latest WAR file first. So I'm using wget, you can see on screen, wget and uh, path to download location. 2.73.2 is the version which we want. So I have manually entered this one slash Jenkins dot war. If you want to upgrade to a particular version, let's say 2.73.1, you can uh, put it here 2.73.1. So you can get the history from uh, Jenkins table release notes. So I'm downloading this one. It may take some time because file size is 70 MB. It is going. So I will post this video for that particular duration till the time file gets downloaded. By the time this file gets downloaded, let me do pre-work. Let me take a uh, backup of Jenkins configuration. In my last video, I have discussed how you can take backup of Jenkins configuration using thin backup. You can refer that video if you don't have idea how to configure this particular thin backup plugin. So I'm clicking backup now. It will take backup of my Jenkins config. It's done. So I got uh, something to save me in case restor restoration required. Another thing, as I mentioned, if your system is virtual, let's say on VMware or Amazon or Google Cloud or Azure, you can always take snapshots. So my system is on VMware workstation. I'm going to take a snapshot in case I have to revert. That will be easy. I'm taking snapshot saying T Jenkins 
upgrade this is going to my backup name and I'm putting date of today taking the snapshot so in case I have to restore I will just restore the snapshot so that's the best practice to take backup okay guys so file which is Jenkins Totoir go download it let's quickly verify you can see this file we just go download it so now from my current download directory I'm going to move this file or you can say copy this file I'm not going to move into this particular file which is original one so overwrite yes okay so that's good one thing I forgot to mention before uh, moving the file to user lib Jenkins slash Jenkins dot I have already stopped Jenkins so let me show you here it's inactive so that's a requirement before you to replace the Jenkins dot file make sure Jenkins is stopped so guys that looks good and uh, let me recopy the file to make sure all the contents are still same basically the copy is not required but i'm just doing yes okay that looks good so we got our latest var file here let's start jenkins now So Jenkins is starting. Okay, starting is okay. So let's check status of Jenkins now. You can see it's active and running. So let's go to Jenkins UI to ensure here Jenkins is running at code right version. I'm using about. About will tell what is the new Jenkins version now. So this is getting ready. It will take a couple of seconds. So let me log in. Okay, guys, you can see now we are able to see version 2.73.2. Earlier it was 2.32.2. So that's good. Our Jenkins code upgraded. As I mentioned, you can always check log files. Log files are you can do tail on let's say tail 50. Where log Jenkins Jenkins dot log you can see this particular service started fine already being invalidated so looks good session has already been invalidated looks good other thing you can always verify uh, the van log messages to see whether Jenkins started without any issue or not so let me do that too you can see started Jenkins configuration integration server so guys we are good Jenkins started perfectly and we are able to see new version one issue as I mentioned uh, if you check the RPM version that will still show you old one because we haven't upgraded the RPM RPM is same we followed the other web method which is to download and replace the Jenkins store to our file so it will because uh, that's a single file which Jenkins use for all its configuration okay so guys uh, that's the way we got our Jenkins upgraded as I mentioned you may need to update the plugins also so click on Jenkins manage plugins and you will be able to see if any plugin need update you can see it is saying the newer version of this plugin claims to be different setting format so plugin need to be updated from 1.19 to 1.2 sorry 1.2.2 for this one there are many plugins which need upgrade so what you can do you can update the plugins i'm selecting this plugin and this one which need update basically all plugins need update you can see existing is 2.2.2 and uh, new one is 2.2.3 2.12 2.13 so it's good i will select all the plugins
and click on download now and install after restart so plugins will get downloaded and uh, i'm going to restart jenkins once plugin installation is done this is to make sure everything comes clean so you can see uh, some plugins got installed so successful some got downloaded and they will be activated when jenkins restarts so automatically there is an option which i selected restart jenkins when installation is complete and no jobs are running right now no jobs are scheduled on my jenkins machine so once the installation and download for all required plugin is finished this particular job is going to restart jenkins which is good so guys you can see uh, we are on this screen now these are all installed plugins and let's check whether any update available you can see all plugins code updated and jenkins code restarted so that's something good uh, and we got all plugins updated so this was first way of upgrading jenkins and as a validation as i mentioned you can kick off uh, some job to verify whether geo jenkins is working after upgrade and uh, no issues i got a couple of test jobs configured i'm going to kick off uh, this particular job so build is scheduled let's see how it goes so i'm going to kick off the build by clicking on build it now so build is scheduled you can see job number three let's check status of this one how it go in this one i have just uh, i got uh, one small function to echo a test job you can see result is finished successfully so it means jenkins upgrade is fine we are able to perform all the jobs which we have configured so guys that's a way to upgrade jenkins as i mentioned if you want to follow the rpm way so simply you can uh, upgrade using let's say using yum this is a uh, centros machine so yum upgrade jenkins this is going to upgrade jenkins i'm not going to say yes this is just i'm showing you how you can do that so before this one you have to stop your jenkins after that uh, take all the configuration backup which we already taken in this case then run command uh, jenkins upgrade and uh, you can see it will upgrade to this particular version 2. Point. if you say yes it is going to upgrade we already upgraded using our file so i'm not going to say yes i'm saying no we don't want update but if you want to follow yum or d package or rpm way this is a way it will automatically download the package from repository so guys that's it in this session i believe uh, this session may give you a little bit idea you have to follow your enterprise guidelines on change management and uh, whatever recommendations this session is just to give you basic idea how you can do upgrades so thanks for watching this video stay tuned Thank you.